What's up, guys? Here we go into a film study on Devin Haney versus Shakur Stevenson. In the midst of all their shit talking, they may wind up getting it on. I doubt it, but we're going to take a look at what would happen if they did. And we're going to be taking a look at some film here and then also some film from their recent fights to kind of suggest whether they are getting better or are not getting better, what's different, what's not. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get into it. Jab, a little counter jab here from Devin Haney. Not bad. Right? We'll see. Oh. And then the immediately, the next jab that Shakur Stevenson throws, very reserved, very controlling, very like, okay, let's see if you're going to try that again, right? Probing with it. Now, a few things to talk about. <clears throat> Number one, Shakur Stevenson was pretty small here. Devin Haney's always been big everywhere. So these are really, really, really important ideas, okay? <clears throat> now, this is very interesting as he's going to get to the front jab, one, two, missed by a mile, right? You don't really see him throwing punches like that, but also one thing that we want to talk about is <clears throat> this in the fight or in the sparring session, this is where Devin Haney lands all his punches is when his opponent is on the ropes, right? Not his opponent, but Shakur Stevenson. And this has been an increasingly difficult task in Shakur Stevenson fights is find people finding him in positions where he's going to sit on the ropes. He's going to wait for them. He's going to let them work. <clears throat> Now, this is a really, really important sequence here because Devin Haney, he's going to jab and watch him pendulum after the jab come down and get smacked by that shot, smacked by this shot. All right, this is a really, really, really important sequence uh, because he still has this bad habit. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at that, a little bit of that bad habit here. Let's see, where's it going to be? <clears throat> here he comes, jab, boom, right? Jab, it's sharper, it's faster, pendulum gets countered here. Loma actually counters him many, many, many times with this move here. Times him with the rear hands. Times him with the jab as well. Uh, catches him in a lot of a lot of really bad places. I think we got even another copy. No, we're gonna take a look at that a little bit later. <clears throat> Very important sequence as well. I got it opened up a couple of times, but we can see jab, pendulum, counter. Uh, it's the same timing. It's the same timing that's going on here with Shakur. Jab comes in, tries to land that shot, and gets countered over the top. A very, very important move because he, the idea that you're going to surprise somebody with a very quick attack on your next beat after your jab is one of the reasons why a lot of times uh, you'll be successful. Okay, And if you have to jab and then you have to pendulum and then you have to throw your right hand, you're telling on yourself. right? You're telling your opponent that you're going to pendulum in. They're going to be able to snap on you. Um, and it's just a very dangerous style, right? It's important to be able to do that, but but as his number one go-to type of offense, um, that's not just the stepping jab, right? Now, this is really important too. <clears throat> I didn't really highlight any of the, the moves um, or have any clips to share, but Lomachenko lands many, many, many naked rear hand punches. He just throws them straight on the line when he gets on with Devin and cracks them. It's one of the reasons why I think Pro Gray may be such a tough fight for him um, because Devin Heaney will sit on the line with you. He will, you know, think he's going to outbox you or outcatch you. And shots like this are very, very <clears throat> valuable against him. Now, check this out, guys. Just he's going to do that move again. Jab, pendulum, nothing wrong with it, and body shot. Now, very important to point out here, it was with the body shot that he supposedly beat Lomachenko. And here we see uh, Shakur Stevenson clearly blocking that shot and interacting with it. Um, but Devin Haney using that same exact timing. Now, Shakur already beat that timing one time. We're going to see if he can counter it a few times. There he goes trying to get on. <clears throat> and very casual one-two from, uh, from Shakur. Now, this is really interesting because how often does he fight someone who's going to control the hand here, pull, right? And then get back to this control, holding it here, and stab him with the shot. You know, Lomachenko didn't fight with that much control, this much kind of, right, sneaking up on him. And again, <clears throat> take a look at him landing the shot. Control right around the guard here with the straight left, going to the body. One of Shakur Stevenson's best moves is the 2-3, right? He's got pretty good structure. He can throw that punch. Um, and that's, that particular combination is pretty good to him. <clears throat> now, getting on the line here, taking a step. Boom, getting cracked. 
right? Good work from Shakur. And it's it's important to note that even though this is going to be one round, this is going to be only one round that we're going to be going over, and Shakur says, oh, I'm tired after this. Uh, number one, Shakur Stevenson is the smaller fighter here. Even though he's two years older, it's obvious that he's not as physically developed as Devin Haney. No shit, right? So, Shakur's not going to have all the same problems that he's going to have. Again, getting on the line, boom, right through the guard, easy shot, 2-3 is his best move. <clears throat> Check this out, okay? Punches start coming at Devin Haney, and watch him roll to the front foot here, getting hit with an entire combination. Very, very, very important sequence because here's Lomachenko hitting him with a very similar thing. Pushes him off the line, 1-1-2, one, one, pushes him all the way off, comes back, moves into this shot. Devin Haney doesn't punch when he rolls. When he gets pushed off of this line here, he comes back with the snappy shot. We're going to talk a little bit more about that a little bit later, that particular sequence. But this one will be a little bit more important. Jab, he's going to roll to the front foot here and start eating a combination for... <clears throat> no reason, okay? Uh, he has this very, very bad habit of jumping on the line or for his defense, trying to roll back to the front foot, starting to clip his little choppy, boom, and not punching, okay? And he'll do this move from the front foot to the back foot or from the back foot to the front foot, and both of them wind up costing him punches. They wind up costing him offense. <clears throat> and he does these rolls, and they just stop him from being able to interact with his opponents. <clears throat> now again, look at how easily Stevenson is just piecing him up. Like, this is not hard work here. Off the line with that. Like, getting on the line here with the control hook. <clears throat> look at Devin Haney's defense. He shells up the same way he was doing against Lomachenko, right? Where he's not trying to punch. He's not trying to do A, B, C, or D. He's just trying to roll to the front foot. Here he made his roll. And now he's getting... Pulled, right? Pull, control, boom, hit with another shot. Devin Haney had almost no defense for Lomachenko. Lomachenko just wasn't trying to hurt or knock him out. You know, and I don't know if Lomachenko just doesn't believe in his power. Jab, pendulum, very easy to time. <clears throat> Ooh, now another great shot. Pendulum, jab, pendulum, boom. And then beating that shot. Now, I want to say this one kind of muddies the line a little bit between, you know, winning and losing. No, he's the one landing the punch, right? Shakur Stevenson is winning the seek the engagement, but this still winds up being a dangerous sequence, okay? <clears throat> Shakur Stevenson's trying to counter him without moving his head, right? Just trying to boom. He does get him. Okay, but again, I want you to pay attention to, oh, this sparring was so long ago. This sparring was this. This sparring, you don't know what you're talking about. Please don't leave those comments. Okay, that's not how boxing works. We can clearly see that, that Devin Haney, I don't want to say he's not better than he was when he was 16, but almost. He's the same fighter. He has the same coach, right? Pendulum, jab, pendulum, boom, countered. <clears throat> and this is a much shorter pendulum than he's getting countered with in other sequences. And Shakur doesn't wind up on the ropes at all. Okay, now he's on the ropes, his worst position, where he usually gets... And now here he is, controlling space with the lead hand, right? This is really important because normally, Devin Haney's the one that has control of space with the jab, but not because he's probing or controlling with that sticking out, you know, but because he's fast, he's explosive with it. <clears throat> now again, just walking onto the line, and I missed this one here, jab, he gets caught with, but counters and counters, again, <coughs> Jab, counter jab, and then two three from Shakur. And again, Shakur uh, has one of the better two three speeds. Uh, it's not the hardest punches, but don't let Shakur Stevenson just start two threeing you and kicking your ass, right? Now, this is the place where I would not expect a lot of <clears throat> uh, work from Haney to get done. I don't think Shakur Stevenson winds up in this position very often. Um, also, without headgear, you're never going to get away with this, right? <clears throat> Holding the guy up and, and punching him. What is this, MMA? Look at Haney trying to use his forearm to push his head back like this. Never going to work in a pro fight. Also, you're not allowed to turn your back to your opponent. 
<laughs> Pushes him off the line with a combination. <coughs> jab. And look at him penduluming in again off the off the jab. Back. Jab. Now he has to shuffle forward. Boom. Boom. Countered. Um, again, all these little tricks that, that Haney has, they're not going to work unless he's just bigger than the guy. Get him with a good shot here. Now again, Devin Haney is trying to roll to the front foot from the back foot. Trying to move his head from the right side of the line under to the right to the left side of the line. And again, here he is. Haney is, is getting picked off completely by someone who's throwing in combination. You know? Joseph Diaz, right? Single punch at a time guy. For whatever reason, not that Loma was like a single punch at a time guy, but a lot of times he was happy just landing one probe and getting off the line. <clears throat> you know, we can clearly hear, see that Shakur Stevenson here is throwing bombs. A lot, a lot of punches. Now, real quick, if we go back. Jab, one, two. Okay, good timing. Still gets picked off. Better timing than usual. And then we have Shakur in a position he doesn't usually wind up in. And then Shakur doing a great job of controlling the line. Boom. Boom, getting into position, body shot, excellent shot. <clears throat> a little bit of holding, probably from Shakur, right? He wants to probably initiate. It's Haney's turn to go. Now, there are some spaces. <clears throat> so, jab, jab, pendulum, under. Comes back with the body shot. Same move that Haney's been trying to get away with. Oh. We missed the... Uh, there was another punch in here that I was supposed to show you guys in here. I don't actually know where it's going to be. <clears throat> so we'll kind of go through a little bit, but there are a few problems with uh, Shakur and some things that he hasn't shown. Uh, he hasn't fixed up or shored up yet either. Maybe we'll get to see him. A lot of combinations. <clears throat> Ooh, so a lot of times Shakur Stevenson likes to sit on the line here. And see how he's getting hit by that left cross, right? He does get smacked by a really good left hook some at some point in this round. And I really want to highlight that because that's one of the places that he actually hasn't been improving. You know, and I don't want to say, oh, he's not improving. But it's one of the places that he still gets messed up on on the line is getting hit by big, big hooks. <clears throat> And I think this particular one that he gets hit with kind of spins his head around. It was the best punch that any of them landed. Even though 90% of the sequences look like they're being, you know, being beaten, being won by boom, boom, double left hook here. Again, St Shakur Stevenson, not very good at blocking that left hook, left hook, left hook over the top. So that is one place that Shakur Stevenson has not really gotten better. We're going to see, boom, boom, Robson Kinsecha getting on the line with the rear hand here and then timing Shakur Stevenson with his own little left hook there. Um, again, very important sequence, very important to figure out all the little places that you're going to have success or not have success. We can see he's open there for that move, didn't get hit there, but now he's going to get hit with that second one. Um, and it does kind of get cut off, but we can see him getting kind of blasted by that shot there. <clears throat> Boom. But um, these are just some of the few, you know, a few small problems that Shakur has. And I want to say um, being on the line with your opponent and having them be able to land one of their best punches is not a small problem, right? It's very similar to Lomachenko being able to walk onto Devin Heaney's line and just throw a straight left hand. That's a problem that, that Devin Heaney has with Shakur, but Shakur has the problem with the hook coming after. And there were a couple of pretty good hooks from Devin Heaney in the fight with Loma. Um, you know, it was a round where he got hit with a punch, and then he immediately countered Loma with a really, really good left hook. 
<clears throat> so those could be problems for Haney, or those could be problems for Shakur. But as it looked like in the sparring, most of the the sparring and the scoring parts of the sparring are dictated by Shakur. He's controlling space, getting space when he needs. He's not getting hit with a lot of stuff. And the only times that he finds himself in danger of being outscored, oh, real quick, again, that left hand over the top of that shoulder right there, uh, is when he gets to the ropes. And that's not a problem that I think he has anymore. I don't think that he's really... I don't think that that's going to be something that worries him. That's something that a uh, position that he winds up being in, um, because the guys that he's been fighting, Robson Kinsecha, they're not able to put him there, pin him there. His control of the of the line, right, with the lead hand here, on average, is pretty good. You know, good enough to keep him from being in positions like that. <clears throat> and I think, you know, obviously Shakur Stevenson being a little bit bigger now, that. Um, and the fact that, you know, the, the experience for Shakur has been really good for him. You know, Devin Haney, he looks mostly the same guy. You know, it doesn't really look like there's a lot that Haney's doing differently in this sparring than uh, he does in his fights normally. You know, he's stronger. He's a little bit faster. But Shakur Stevenson is actually a better fighter now. He actually, you know... Anyway, um... Those are my thoughts on the fight. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys want to learn how to punch, you guys want to learn how to, you know, and, and, and what real punching power is as well. You want to learn, you know, how to punch like a great fighter. You want to learn the rules for striking. You want to learn the rules for boxing. You want to learn <clears throat> not only how to stay safe, but how to put your opponent in the worst positions possible. Uh, check out the Fouts Boxing Combat System in the description below. Uh, guaranteed to teach you punching power, man or woman, uh, doesn't matter, and pound for pound for you to be able to learn to hurt somebody your size. Again, if you're a woman and you're training, you'll be able to knock out a man who's the same size as you, right? You'll be able to learn the punching power and the, the techniques necessary to start building punching power. <clears throat> anyway, not just that, but I'll teach you how to get on the line not just like teach you your best punch, but I'll teach you how to get on the line and throw your best punch as well. So don't forget to check it out. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and all that stupid stuff. Thanks.